a streetcar isn't your cup of tea, how about a biking on a wagon through the urban core instead? The pedal wagon is a 14-seat bike that will be used for history tours and pub crawls in Cincinnati, Newport, and Covington starting next month. These bikes have been a huge hit in Belgium and Germany, so why not in Cincinnati? Jack Heakin and Tom O'Brien are co-owners of Unplugged, and they're bringing the pedal wagon to town. In this morning's Business Insight, they join U.S. Bank Business Watch's Kelly Leon to talk about their new venture and why they think it'll work here. Kelly? Thanks, Brian. We're so excited to have these two young entrepreneurs on the show. Talk to me about this concept. Where did it come from? Uh, it originated over in Germany about 15 years ago and then came over to Minnesota about eight years ago. And then uh, my dad sent me over a picture of the bike and we got together and had to start it. So your dad was in Germany? Uh, no, he just uh, found it online. He found it online and said, hey, this would be a fun idea. And so you two... We saw the picture and we just had to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we made a trip down to Savannah, Georgia to go see a manufacturer down there and rode on it and said, this is what we want to do. So speaking of seeing it, you can see a picture in the Business Courier article, of course, but let's take some more, uh, another look at that video because it's so much fun to see. So what are we seeing here? We've got, what, 14 seats and... You've got 13 seats, uh, five pedalers on either side, and then one of our drivers in the middle steering the guy. Okay. Um, and if, at some point you hope to get a liquor license so you can actually drink beer on this? Is that part of the plan? In the future, that's the plan, yeah. For right now, um, it's not going to be any drinking, but we will do bar, bar crawls, so we'll be making stops oh, at all different Jack types of bars. driving right, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Almost ran over the camera, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Um, so, in terms of how it's going to work. You're hooking up with the Legacy Tour guys, the guys that do the Newport Tours and the Over the Rhine Tours. Tell me about that partnership. So during the day we're going to have a partnership with them where they're going to operate um, more as a tour vehicle over in Newport and then also in Cincinnati. So you might be able to go to like Finley Market, Rookwood Pottery. Then at night it's going to be seen more as like a pub crawl um, going from bar to bar. So start out in OTR, go to Fountain Square, then the banks. And we're really excited about what they've come up with. Yeah, um, those guys do a great job. Yeah. They've come up with some great concepts. So the fact that you're partnering with them, this is really a, um, I mean, this is a tourist attraction is what you're hoping exactly, that it will turn yeah. into. Uh, our main goal is to bring business to businesses downtown. Basically, um, we want more people to come see Cincinnati and kind of all the changes going on. And are you getting support from the businesses downtown? I mean, are you working with them at all at this point or is it too early for that? Uh, yeah, we've gotten a lot of good responses and kind of working with them and figuring out which one's the best option. Yeah. So when do you see this starting up? There was some talk about as soon as next month? Is we'll be in the Cincinnati Beer Fest um, in early February, February okay. 10th and 11th. Okay. And that's kind of the showcase. Um, and then we'll move into actually running tours in March uh, right after Bach Fest. Okay. All right. And then, do you expect there to be more than one of these, or am I jumping the gun here and I should let no, you get no, this? No, not at all. <laughs> we're, uh, we're looking into purchasing the second right now and hoping for the third by the end of the and year. And are these custom made someplace, or do you make them here? Tell me about that process. There, there's a few manufacturers. That was a long process. Um, over in Germany, um, then there's one out on the west coast, and then one down in Savannah, Georgia. And um, this, this one's the first one with um, an electrical assist on it, so as the people pedal, um, it'll actually recharge it and help people go up the hills and stuff. Cool. And you guys are local guys. You grew up together, is that right? Where'd you grow up? Where'd you go to high school? Uh, we went to Moeller. we got to ask the Cincinnati yep. yeah. Where'd you go to high school? And All Saints Grade School. And All Saints, school, yeah, we went to grade school and high school together. <laughs> well, that's, it's wonderful that you stayed here in Cincinnati yeah. and that you're starting this business, and we wish you all the success in the world. And it, where can people look if they want some more information about this. Pedalwagon.com. Pedalwagon.com, easy enough. Yep. All right. Thanks so much, guys, for being here. Thank Thanks you for having us. Yeah, right. Really excited. Great. Brian, back to you. All right, Kelly. Great way to burn off some calories. I'd love to see that thing going down some of our hills.